Wendy. This is your goodbye video that we wanted to make for you because we love you so much and we're going to miss you and you'll always be a huge part of the LaSalle family here. And I'm lucky because I get to start. So I wanted to start off with a little story that I think about all the time. It's especially around Christmas time because, true story, Wendy gives the absolute best, best, best Christmas presents. She knows what I'm talking about. And another story that I just couldn't go without saying is she's going to kill me for saying this. I have a great story of uh, Wendy and Miss Rosie running into like the, the cafeteria and they're all like out of breath. They're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mr. Plusky, Mr. Plusky. You'll never guess what happened. Okay, huh, guess what happened. Okay, Wendy and Miss Rosie almost got put in jail for... Stealing. <laughs> okay, she can probably explain better. They weren't really stealing, but through a course of events that she can explain to you, basically, they were like held at the back of the store, like with a security guard going, oh, you can't move. And like, said, please, please. So anyways, they got to go. Nothing really bad happened to them. She's going to kill me for telling that story. But I love it because it is so funny and it is so Wendy. And to hear her explain, she's like, you hey, know, Love you, Miss Wendy. You are so awesome. I really am gonna miss you. And I'm dropping in the PTO office and just saying hi. And, uh, get coffee. And sometimes, sometimes you even brought me coffee into my classroom. So you were just amazing. And everything you do, everything you stood for for this school, and you know, did everything for our kids. You're just an amazing woman, and we're gonna miss you terribly. So uh, best wishes. Go off and uh, just have a lot of success. We're just gonna miss you so much. who I now call Wendy for about seven years now. We met when her Zoe was my kindergarten student seven years ago. And we've had beautiful experiences together. She's a good friend of mine and I love her dearly, but I have to tell you one of my favorite stories about her. It happened one late night after fall festival. We were exhausted, we were tired, and we were probably still here around 10.30, cleaning up and throwing trash out, putting everything away, when Miss Wendy decides to go outside. She runs back inside the PTO room, saying, El Zorro! El Zorro! Okay. Miss Rosie and I were so excited. We thought we were gonna run into Antonio Banderas. Turns out, Miss Wendy was referring to a skunk. Zorrillo is the Spanish word for zorro. For, I'm sorry, for skunk in Spanish. I love you, Wendy. I'm going to miss you dearly. Thank you for all your hard work and all your dedication to our kids in our school. You'll be great with us.
And this is crazy. I see. I think you're awesome. is how she has a genuine care and concern for everybody. Whether you're brand new to LaSalle, you've been here for years since kindergarten, or you're her own child, she loves you with a huge heart. For example, at SeaWorld, she was the first one to help our little girls get their hair done, um, she was helping the boys pack up their sleeping bags, and she did all of this before helping herself. So we're going to miss you, Miss Wendy. Love you! All you have done. Layla's gonna miss you. We love you so much. We hope that middle school is wonderful for you and your son. And please come and visit. We love you so much. Bye. Bye, Wendy. Love you. Kids Carnival. H stands, stands for helping helpful youth are. With helping set up the kids carnival. A stands for an amazing Lasalle leper who is a giver, not a taker. Tell you that we're gonna miss you 
you're just a great gal. You know, we're, you've done so much for us, for the school, for the kids. Yay. And we're going to miss you and uh, just come and visit us. We uh -huh. we'll love you. There's Amy <laughs> over here. Uh, Winnie, um, something, I've been thinking and thinking about it, about what I'm going to say. And although you don't know it, you save me so much time. You are pretty much my right hand. You don't know you're my right hand. And I want to thank you for all my darkest days. There you Red are. Hey, hey, the there there you are showing up. <laughs> you and the girl show up with your bouquet of flowers. And yeah, that's so special. So and um, I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you. Zoe. <laughs> I want to thank you for all that, for your time, for your commitment, <laughs> your dedication to our school. I thank you. Yes. And this is just, it's not goodbye. And no. we'll see you later. Yes. Well, I we're, know you'll we're be here, here for you, yeah. Wendy. We're here for you. Go on you. Need. God bless. And God go bless. on to doing bigger and better things, like I always tell you. You have the heart of gold, and you can do it. Yes. yes. Amen. We love you. We yes. love you. Yes. Hi, Wendy. Um, we're going to miss you. I have just a quick little poem for you. It says, helping out, lending a hand, someone who will understand. A person who will always be there, without a doubt, someone who cares. And that is you, Miss Wendy. You've um, done so much for our school, done so much for everybody. You're a great friend, a great person. And um, we're just so thankful you've been here at LaSalle. And you got to come back and see us. Wendy, this is such a bittersweet moment for me. I remember the first time we met and you were so confident in seeing my vision as I brought it to you and brought it to LaSalle. I am so grateful for everything you've done. You've made me, our school, the kids, the staff, much better because of your effort with the one goal in mind and that is to help kids, to make this a place where kids want to be. And I can't thank you enough. There are not enough, you have put in more hours, clearly, than I have, I think, over these last six years. And you are just determined to make things perfect. And what did you always tell me? I'd say, are you sure you're going to have it? Is it going to be ready? Are you going to have this done? And you'd always say, Mr. G, who are you talking to? It's Wendy. And you never let me down. Not one single time did you ever let me down with all the things that have gone on. You've had a great crew around you, but a great crew needs a great leader. And that's what you are. And you've done that for us. You've done that for me. I consider you a very good friend. And I appreciate all that you've done. I've gained weight because of you. Thank you very much. And um, just your, your kindness and your sincere effort to make not just because your children go here, but you want to help every child. And that's, that's critically important to me. I'm going to miss you dearly. You are absolutely number one in my heart, and I just can't thank you enough. I know that you're not going to be able to just cut ties with us and take off and just forget about LaSalle. You are way too invested in us. And I'd like to call on you. I know your colleagues in the PTO, your future um, PTO executive board members will look to you for help and guidance and you will be there just because you've been there this whole time. Wendy Barola, you are one amazing woman. Thank you for making LaSalle 